Hi, and welcome back to our video course on Microsoft Word 2010. In this video, I want to talk a little bit about how to select text and objects inside of a Microsoft Word document. Now, most of us at one time or another have highlighted text. We know if we want to highlight a block of text, we just start at the beginning, press and hold with our mouse, and drag over the text. And you're going to see that that block of text was highlighted. If I move down, it highlights down. If I move up, it highlights up. But there are a few shortcuts that everybody should know about inside of Microsoft Word. And let's start with pointing over here in our margin. If I wish to select a line of text, all I have to do is point at that line from the margin and click. And you're going to see that those lines will be selected. If I double click from out here in the margin, you're going to see it highlights whatever paragraph I was pointing at. In the case of these lines up here, they're already just single individual paragraphs. Whoops, I hit my formatting bar there. We'll talk about that later. But down here where I have more traditional paragraphs, you'll see how that works. If I click three times out here on the margin, it'll select the entire document, including any tables or other objects that you might have in the document. It won't select anything you have in the headers or footers, however. Now, if you want to highlight a word, all you have to do is double-click actually on the word. I'll double-click on meeting there, and you'll see how easy it is to select an entire word. If I triple-click anywhere, it highlights whatever paragraph I was in. So double-clicking out here and triple-clicking in the middle will do the exact same thing. Double-click to highlight a word, triple-click to highlight a paragraph or come out here in your margin and click to highlight a line or double click to highlight a paragraph. Now coming down here we have a little table and again if I want to highlight a row in the table all I have to do is point at that row and then click just like that. If I want to highlight a column in the table I point right at the top of the column and you're going to see I get an unusual shaped cursor here. It looks like a, a thick cursor with a down arrow on it. And when I click, it highlights that particular column. If I click and drag, I'll highlight multiple columns. Again, I just point right at the top, get that special arrow, press and hold and drag over, and it'll highlight all the columns I drag across. And the same thing is true with rows. I can press and hold and drag down and highlight multiple rows in my table. And finally, if I want to highlight the entire table, I can just click on this little compass arrow right up in the upper left-hand corner. And that will appear whenever you've clicked inside of your table. And I just click and it highlights the whole table for me. And again, clicking anywhere simply releases that highlight. And then we have an image down here. And all I have to do to select the image is just click right in the middle of it and it will select. So several different ways to highlight text, content that's in a table, and also images. 